welcome to The Magic of Marketing, where each week you get a hot tip to help you grow your business and change the world. I'm your host, Jennifer Trask, and today I've got two guests. This is Kellyanne and Brent Bashera. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. So today we are talking about how to thrive in a marriage with an entrepreneur or two. And it's or two because we've got two in a marriage. Um, I'm really happy, so happy to be able to talk about this. And it'll come out Valentine's Week, which is also very exciting. Um, because relationships are the core of who we are. And they really help create so much fulfillment in life. And I think being an entrepreneur, it's hard sometimes when you want to put your business first. But you have a partner. So... I asked these two to talk about this because I know them personally quite well and I've watched them since I've met them and they actually have one of those marriages where you think, well, can it really be that good? But yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> and they both they both have a business each and they'll, I'm going to let them tell you about that. Um, but I wanted to sort of set that up that you guys are living proof. It can work. It does work. It's constantly working. And... You have secrets to how that happens. It doesn't happen by accident. It takes work. It takes work. Yeah. So first, I'll, I'll throw it over to you guys. So tell everybody who you are, what you do, and um, then we'll get into it. All right. Well, I'm Kellyanne Pye Bashera, and I'm a professional visual artist, and that is my business. Uh, hello. Good day. Uh, I'm Brent Bashera. I'm also a uh, visual artist and designer, and uh, like to... Uh, I also play music as well, so a lot of variety. Awesome, thank you. Okay, guys, so let's just get into it. So, okay. how long have you been married? Ten years this year. Ten years! Congratulations! Thank you. Yay. Okay, that's and impressive for me. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it took a lot. Like, uh, you didn't think you were going to get married, is that no. right? No. And then he convinced me. He convinced me. It was a good idea. It was a good idea. Yeah. It was. It was a good idea. It was good. Yeah. Okay. So, so what is a day in the like, um, in the life like for you two? Well, we both work from home, mm -hmm. so we're in our house a lot. But mm -hmm. we love our house, and we've set it up so that it's it works for us both work and life. Right. Um, so we spend a lot of time together, and we manage our time so that we have time. Well our time together that we right. have and then we also have separate time uh, one thing I want to point out that I think is really very powerful is that most couples seem sometimes they'll have problems and they actually don't even spend that much time together right, right? and they can't even imagine spending that much time with their spouse but you guys we spend a, a lot, lot of time together mm -hmm. so that's say definitely more <clears throat> than average so I think it's pretty incredible that you are you spend that much time together and you still wake up and have a very happy <laughs> we still marriage. Like we still like each other, mm -hmm. don't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Uh, now I know I, I asked you this in event, so you prepared some Cut thoughts notes. around. She got notes. Got notes. Oh, I got notes. Okay, so tell us what what are the secrets to creating a great marriage with an entrepreneur? Well, we came up with six main points. Okay. Uh, the first one being is an understanding that knowing that business is part of our life and our life is part of our business. There's no separate lines. I actually had the hardest time incorporating that. First of all, you were way easier with it. I was like, okay, we need to end work and now start pleasure. Right. But it doesn't work like that. And as soon as I accepted that and realized that when we're out at parties, it's networking, even though you don't have to go out thinking, this is networking. Right. But it is. <coughs> right. And it's part of your life. Right. And it's a good thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and so really, I think potentially if you are in a relationship where there is one and you are the person who's not the entrepreneur, it'd be a lot for them to mm -hmm. accept that. Yes. Right? I think so. Okay. Yeah. And once you accept that it is part of your life, mm -hmm. it's easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. All right. right. That one's pretty simple. That's a good one. All right. So number two was we set our boundaries. Okay. So Friday nights are our date night. 
and nice. everybody dating we know. Things. Everyone should do dating. Oh yeah, everybody should do dating. <laughs> it's really fun, whether you're an entrepreneur or not. That's right. Um, so Friday night basically starts at three o'clock in the afternoon because we're entrepreneurs, and, and we can. Eat. Yes. Uh, so it. it starts then, and we turn off the phone. We get out our drinks. We celebrate the week. We talk mm -hmm. about what we've done. Um, like none of basically none of our friends and family call us on Friday nights because Cause they know they now. know it's a waste of time. Right. Yep. <laughs> and Why bother dialing? Yeah, that's Doesn't right. Doesn't matter. And what do you call the living room? It's the no phone zone. I love that. If you uh, no phone zone. No in the phone room. zone. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody, anybody who comes anybody. over. I mean, unless, you know, they have kids or something, you have to keep track. Right. But otherwise, right. out. Yeah. It's out. Yeah. And it just makes it for a nice, relaxing mm -hmm. atmosphere that you feel like you're free. And in particular, because <clears throat> I have a really, I do not like the phone thing. People are constantly on oh, their yeah. phones. Uh, I think that's actually such an important practice to create connection because oftentimes you find yourself sitting in a room with someone and you're both talking to other people and yeah. what about the person in front of you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And as I well, even photographing things. Right. Like we're photogra photographers. <laughs> we're photographers, so yes. we constantly are taking pictures of things and sometimes I think I miss the point right. by always being in my camera. Right, so having a no phone zone means I have to be there. Right, and be present. Yes. Okay, and are there any other boundaries that you can... Oh, uh, we, at the end of the workday, I like to change the clothes because I have a, a, when I work, even though I work from home sometimes, it might be in my sweats, whatever. But at least at the end of the day, what I do is I make sure I change my clothes so it changes also the mindset to relax. You know, I'm off the clock, the clock, right? So I'm right. on my now fun clock. Mm -hmm. So we'll change from our work sweats <laughs> <laughs> to our relaxed sweats. <laughs> that's Big awesome. Yeah. And I think that's really important because imagine now for those who work outside of the home, say, um, well, first of all, good for inside the home. But so if you, you come home and the first thing you do is, all right, I think a lot of people, a lot of people might do that if they work in an office. Hey, get out of sweats. Yeah. Yeah. But I know a lot of people watching work from home. So... Mm -hmm. Whether they're in their work sweats <laughs> or an actual work outfit of yeah. some sort, mm -hmm. I love that concept because you're already home. You won't think to change, right? right? And therefore, your mindset just keeps going. Like, mm -hmm. I'll just work and work and work yeah. and work and work. Of course, work. Right. nothing changes, right? And because we can work forever, right? I mean, <laughs> there's there's her, always more to do. Always more to mm -hmm. do. But the yeah. change of clothes is a change of it's mind. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. I hope you wrote that down because you don't do that. I did just start doing it. Change your clothes. I gotta do that because I work from home <laughs> and I don't you, do you that. You notice the difference. This is why I'm so excited because I I love this interview. It is so great. I learn new things all the time. All right. So, yeah, I well, never well, thought well. to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he'll always do the announcement. Uh, what is it? Comfy clothes. Oh, love and it. we're like, okay, mm -hmm. there we go. We just change our clothes. Excellent. Love it. Okay. And another one for setting your boundaries is uh, because we work together and we spend a lot of time together, we make sure we have our alone time. Right. Because you can work in your business a lot. So having alone time means we can sort of work on the business, not in the business. And is this alone time together or separate? Separate. Okay. I so seem to need it more than he does. <coughs> right. But mm -hmm. yeah. And I go for long, long walks. Right. That's my... Big alone time. That's a good one. Nice. So it you need to figure out mm -hmm. what it is that will fuel you for when you are having your alone time and mm -hmm. to make sure you set that alone mm -hmm. time. Now, how often do you guys do that? Is that a daily practice, a weekly? Yeah, well, I have my morning routine. I get up and do my thing. I'm usually up hours before. He gets up in the middle of the night. <laughs> right. I don't. Besh is a machine of some sort. Yeah. doesn't right. sleep right. at all, hardly. And I'm a right. sleeping machine. Right. So, right. yeah. Yeah. And then my morning routine when I get up, I go and exercise by myself. Right. To get my head space ready for the day. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a good routine. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I love that one. Uh, the next one was staying healthy. Okay. So what's your three? Uh, food, fun, and fitness. Love it. Right. Healthy in all areas, right? Good food, uh, have good fun, and then also good fitness through whatever routines. I'm a big fan of yoga. So that's what I'm... And meditation, and meditation. Too, a big one. And I like that you put fun in there because I think a lot of people forget that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
they put that on the back burner. Well, Especially important. if you work a lot. You yeah, should forget about fun. And we're in the creative uh, field, right? That's why we're always in the uh, working on projects that require that creativeness. And the <coughs> creativeness, the uh, energy from creativeness isn't the fun to me. Yeah. The, the ex, uh, excitement. Yeah, the good parts. The good mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the next one would be communication is a big one for okay. us. Mm -hmm. We talk about everything. Okay. As it comes up, there's no bottling up and like, oh, 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 oh the brewing and then mm -hmm. the blow. We see that a lot with a lot of people. Yeah. And I think it's because we spend a fair amount of time together that we're used to talking everything out as it happens. Yeah, okay. clear it immediately. If there's any any issue, be it big or small, the sooner it's on the table, the sooner there's more people looking at it, the more people can address it and, and come up with a solution. Right, and I'm yeah. assuming this is business personal, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, right. like this is everything. This is all of it. All of it, mm -hmm. okay. And I'm the type anyways, if there's a problem, <clears throat> I want it talked about yeah. now. <laughs> I don't know any women who are like that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what would you uh, give as a recommendation to a couple who do not practice this, say, we need to practice this, you know, how do you, is there a way that you could sort of get into that? And also without feeling like you're getting picked on constantly because now everything right. is coming up. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. We don't want that to happen either. It's gonna... Well, practice. Practice. And as soon as you, as soon as you start communicating, as soon as you need to clarify the boundaries within the relationship, you know, the good, bad, and the whatever, as yeah. soon as you define them, clarify them, observe, and become aware, and then, then get at it, the sooner you get better at it. And we've had right. 10 years to work on it. Right. We weren't so good at it in the beginning. Okay. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. no. So give yourself some patience. Yes. Yeah. Patience. patience. <laughs> and, you know, try to figure out <coughs> nice ways to say things. Right. Like, of course, you can do that. But yeah. that's not that's not productive that. really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that and uh, I've been very lucky to spend a lot of time with these two together and I notice that you guys do that. So you approach what it's all in tone, right? It's all how you present mm -hmm. a problem. <laughs> Right. I've worked on my toe. Right. Yeah. So I sing things more now. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So weird. Right. So, so I was thinking you do like fun little lilty things with your voice. It's not so um, harsh. Doesn't sound as uh, yeah. Fish. <laughs> He's just smiling, honey. It's all good. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have figured it out. I think. Okay. We'll talk about it. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Next. Big one. Next. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one. That's Communication. A big one. Just practice and practice. And right. I mean, we we're still practicing. Yeah. And if people feel really stuck, I mean, there's tons of great programs and products out there to help you learn how to communicate mm -hmm. yes. better. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I've done some of them, so I I know they're out there. Yeah. They're good. Google. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one is that we celebrate the little victories as well as the big ones. I mean, the big ones are obvious. Yes. But just the little ones, <coughs> like, ooh, we sold a print, like, at least do a high five. Right. Yeah. Take the time to, like, say, okay, that was really awesome. Yes. And then the more you celebrate them, the more they seem to show up. Awesome. Yeah. Honor, so do whatever. It. Yeah. Um, Give it that little bit of time. Just acknowledgement, to, recognition. Yep. Yeah. And what does that do for you two together? Well, it, it really proves the system's working, right? And then the more we work at, you know, the acknowledgement of that, then the, that's what we focus on is the system's really working and it works well. The more of that wellness happens. You know, uh, I'm glad you said that because I, I think that's almost extra important too if there is one entrepreneur in the marriage because then the other person can feel very much a part of the success of the company. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like she or he is over there doing their thing and I never see them and this and this and this. Right? Right? right. right? Yeah. yeah. If you're constantly communicating and then you share the small wins because there's, there's not always big wins every yeah. single day. Right? Yeah, yeah. Then that person too will not only feel a part of it, be more open to supporting. Oh, let's create more of those. Right. Because that feels really good when we, right. <laughs> when we have a little glass of wine at one in the afternoon because, you know, some little cool thing happened. happened. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's a good practice. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. Mm -hmm. Right. And if it's not fun, it's not fun. It's not but fun. when it's fun, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, awesome. and the last one is organization. Okay, it helps us a lot. Okay, so, so the number one thing we do <coughs> Monday Mash. <clears throat> Monday Mash. So Monday Mash is like you know because it is a company, nonetheless yeah. if it's sole proprietorship or two or three or whatever, yeah. it's a company. So you know some of the aspects of board from the military is that you know we just go through the whole the operations of everything, right? Our finances, uh, product in, product out marketing so we go through everything and say right what are our table issues for this week and is it in alignment with our admission statement and our goals and our focuses begin with the end of mind right right so the more that we stay focused you know a good you know start the week off with a good vision for the week right like we all know what the goals are for right. the week and right. for the month and the year and the years and do you do the personal stuff at the monday mash too or is that something separate uh I think that's separate. It's it more is. a business yeah. okay. Monday mash, and our assistant is there as well. Right. So we're all together, together. and know what we're working mm -hmm. on. Okay. And we run through both companies. So we'll run through the art right. and the knives because they're now all, it's all one company, right? Right. The creativeness. So yes. uh, we run through the whole thing, both, um, both umbrellas, I guess, her umbrella, my umbrella, and we just we go through it. And uh, it just gets clear, clarity, clarification, because then we also have our calendar, our year calendar open the events because some things you know affect things down down the chain so yeah of course it would yeah okay so i like that and uh even if you are the only entrepreneur you can actually still do that every mm -hmm. week with your mm -hmm. partner mm -hmm. i would yeah yeah, yeah. big time big yeah. time because then they're part of it right? <clears throat> then they're part of it yeah mm -hmm. so you know it's funny as i'm as you're speaking and i've got ideas going crazy but i <laughs> I really feel like that, you know, one of the things I do with my clients is they create things together with me. And you want that to happen because then they're a part of the process mm -hmm. and it's theirs. Mm -hmm. So perhaps this is one of the most important lessons is that if you are just you, it's not just your business. Like your partner is your life partner. And if your business is your life and your life is your business, then they need to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I would say that'd be essential to yeah. Yeah, a successful Yeah. yeah entrepreneurial business and coming right. Back, right back to communication yes. communication yeah. Yeah. and there's the best thing is having support yes in a business right right like we know yes if you've got someone who's on your team high-fiving you as you go along yes it's, it's superpower mm -hmm. right yeah. and then if something not so great happens because eventually it probably will um, the other person can be more supportive it won't be such a shock because they're so in the know and yeah. You know, they'll move you through that, I think. And it's nice having another set of eyes on your business. Right. That's not so in your business as we are. Right. It's nice having mm -hmm. a, say, objective. a objective person going, okay, you're working like way too much. Right. You're pale, you don't sound <laughs> healthy. You know? Right, yes. Just somebody, you know, keeping an eye out for you who has a you know vested interest in it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what other organization tips do you guys do? Um... Well, I'm the main organizer, okay. I would say. Mm -hmm. And I think no matter what, somebody is the main mm -hmm. different yeah. jobs. Mm -hmm. Mine's the organization. Yeah. She's the GM. I'm the GM. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And yeah. what does that mean? I'm very list-oriented. Yes. And I love my calendar. Yes. And Excel sheets. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. And, and then, so every, week, well, basically every day mm -hmm. for the next day, we have a list. Right. So From we all know what we're looking, what yes. we're working on. Right. Yeah. That would be, I would say, the main thing that okay. keeps us on track yeah. and actually makes us not work forever. Right. Right. Because you get your list done and it's like, okay, the list is done. Yeah. Now, obviously, there's 8 million more things below it. Yeah, as I was going to say, how do you learn to cut off a list? Right. Well, it's your priorities. Right. right. And the bonus is if you get your list done and it's 3 o'clock, go for your hike. Right. Do your walk. Have a nap. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But acknowledge that you've done what you yeah. set out to do for the day. Um, I really I really like that concept. And I think whether you're married or single or it doesn't matter, yeah. that is actually very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. I used to not do that. Me and too. It was so detrimental because you you keep feeling like you're failing. Right. Right. So I learned. Or like you never accomplish. Oh, like you never accomplish anything. Oh, like anything. Or yes. I think that's the feeling I got from it. Yeah. It's this constant. 
I don't know. On yeah. and on and on and on. Like, where does it end? But it doesn't end. But it doesn't end. Because that's, that's self-employment. Right. <laughs> and life, really. Life. Right. Yeah. So put the most important thing on your list. Get realistic about the time it's going to take you. Commit. Oh, yeah. Right? That's, the that's a one. big one. Mm -hmm. That was a big one for me. Me which too. Which I still have to work with sometimes. Me Usually too. things still take me longer than I think they Especially are. type A yes. super achievers. Yes. Yeah. I must get it done. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> All at the same time. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. So are there any other things that you do organizational wise? Mm, I think they're the main things, would you say? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Can we have a recap for everyone so they can... Oh. Absolutely. Yeah, I love the recaps. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number one is know that business is part of your life and life is part of your business. Right. And it's all okay. It's all, all okay. okay. Uh, number two would be set your boundaries, like date night, uh, the no phone zone, change your clothes. Uh, number three is stay healthy, the fitness, food, fun. It's a balanced lifestyle that makes for a good everything yeah uh, number four is communication okay all those levels number five is celebrate the little victories with the big ones yeah uh, number six is organization love it that's the top six that's a big great list actually it's not a big list but if if you are thinking you know, Crap, I haven't done any of those. <laughs> what would, okay, if someone's in their shoes, what's the most important? Pick it, pick it. Between two of you now, because you're a team. Yeah. Organization. Um, fact. Industry. Yeah? Yeah, yes. it has to. Why? Well, it, it's the ripple effect. You, 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 even if it's clearing your desk, even if it's, it's the feng shui-ness of it all. Right. When you have an organized space, you have an organized mind. Right. right. And yeah. then you'll even be able to communicate better. Oh, my gosh. Yes. yes. Which is, yes. No. Or we've been thinning out, and it's been so beneficial. And the organization would include food, exercise, taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. because you're going to organize, you're going to make sure you're getting your groceries, you're going to have your fresh food, you're going to schedule your hikes, you're mm -hmm. going to, like, you work it into your schedule, and that's then what gives you the balanced mm -hmm. life. Awesome. And right, Wednesday is my me day. Right. So he knows that. He goes into town. I have all Wednesday, all Wednesday night to myself. Wednesday right. night is my studio night. And then I'm good to go for Love another it. week. Right mm -hmm. on. So mm -hmm. it's really, it's all organization. Yeah. Yeah. And date night, organize, organize it. Organize date night. Um, so are there any books that come to mind, to recommendations to help people get organized that you can think of? Or is this, mm -hmm. go ahead. I made it all up. You made it all up. <laughs> right, Kellyanne. Well, Secrets to the Millionaire Mind's a great book. Uh, T.R. Becker's, or uh, Jeffrey Gittimer's little red book, The Selling's also a very... But for organization? Oh. Uh, um, well, yeah, money organization. Money, right? Actually, yeah. organize your money. Yeah. Manage yeah. your money. money, money oh, money that's, that's a whole... That's another category. That's number seven. I gave number seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Manage your money. Yeah. Because okay. money can be the biggest... <clears throat> Sure. Problem right. in a relationship, especially yes. entrepreneurial. God, yes. Whether yeah. one company or two. Right. Yeah. Um, and a book that comes to mind for me is Getting Things Done by David Allen. If you haven't picked it up yet, mm. pick it up. Uh, get mm. Things Organized. Four Hour Work Week. Oh, the Four Hour Work Week. Yeah, yeah. that would be on organization too. Well, uh, and, and some other that. things. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. And Jack Canfield's yeah. book on success is indispensable. Okay, for. Yeah. Okay, great. Because it covers, that's, that's it. That's covers all of that. Hmm. <laughs> so you could write a book about this, essentially. Yes, yeah, I probably will eventually. Yeah, maybe I can come down and find it. It's good stuff. Sorry. Okay, so is there anything else that you would like to share? Do you feel like those are the big secrets? That's that, yeah. And commit. The, the accomplishment of all your goals is assured the moment you commit yourself. Mm -hmm. And be lovey-dovey, because business can get really like, okay, we're doing this, and you know, as much as organization is good, you know, like, kiss. Aww. Kiss, hold hands, do all of that schmoopy stuff. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> my goodness. Well, oh my goodness. We got so much good information. I love when I learn new things too. Okay, I can write all this down. Right? Me too. <laughs> here. I take a picture of my phone. Yeah, that's here right. Oh, wait for my book. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for being here to the both of you. Thanks for asking us. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Now, we want to hear from you. 
what works for you. Has anything Kellyanne and Besh said today spark something in you? What are you going to implement into your life? Because there's a lot of new things I'm sure everyone can implement, take something from this. Um, so put it in the comments below, and I'm sure Kellyanne <laughs> and Besh will check it out if you have a question for them. Yes. It's true. We'll answer whatever. <clears throat> and maybe before you do that, go kiss your partner. Go oh, kiss your partner. Nice. Mwah. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and share. We love when you spread the love. And there's a lot of love in this video, that's for sure. And then we'll see you next week on the magic of marketing. <laughs>